All right, Jason, it's your turn. Put you on the hot seat. What is the difference between the definition of done and acceptance criteria? Ooh, I love this question. I talk about this quite a lot. So both of those ideas, acceptance criteria and definition of done, speak to things that need to be completed in order for a, a product backlog item to be finished. But they have slightly different perspectives and they have slightly different purposes. So my favorite analogy for this is if I was running a bakery. If I was running a bakery, I would get orders for chocolate chip cookies or blueberry muffins or like I would get different orders for different things. But I would probably have a single list of quality measures that before any order leaves my bakery, before any, I'm going to call anything done, I'm going to go through these quality checks. Like, is it fully baked? Is it packaged? Is it labeled? Is it, you know, frosted? Whatever. That common list of quality measures, that's your definition of done. It should apply to all the items on your product backlog. It's set once for the product. It can be iterated on. You can add to it over time. But it's not like there's a different definition of done for every product backlog item or different definition of done for every sprint. There is a single definition of done, a single list of quality standards that must be met before we call any item on our product backlog done. Acceptance criteria, on the other hand, that's unique and specific to one item on your product backlog. That tells us what is the customer or user expecting when this item on our backlog is completed. So I might have an item on my backlog to say, add a save for later button to my shopping cart. Well, there's some acceptance criteria to that, there's some expectations that the user's gonna have. When I click the save for later button, it's gonna move it from my cart to this other area, and then I'm gonna see it in another area, and maybe there's a count or you know whatever else. It's very detailed about what the user expects, but it's specific to one item or one piece of value, one piece of functionality to a product. It's not this common checklist like a definition of done is. So they can sound kind of similar, but the purposes and uses are very different. One gives you the user's perspective for a single item. The definition of done, on the other hand, gives you a common list of quality measures, usually written from the developer's perspectives. So those two things can be confused, but it's really important to get them straight. All right, you know the drill. This is YouTube after all. So this is where I ask you to click the thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit the bell or whatever else YouTube's come up with these days for you to get our videos delivered to you. Or even better, in our description below, there's a link where you can get these videos delivered straight to your inbox. Did you know we teach professional scrum courses? If not, check the links in the description for information about how you can join one of our professional scrum courses and hang out with us.